Good morning, y'all. Jim here with the next cast. Today, I'm going to show you three ways to quickly and easily fillet a bluegill. Here we go. The first way we're going to do this is this is your average size bluegill. This is typically the size you're going to catch, y'all. And these do turn into decent fillets. You typically would grab the gills here. I like to flip up that fin. And I'm going to cut at an angle back towards the top of the head until I break through. Then I'm going to turn my knife and follow the spine all the way down the fish. To the tail, but I'm not going to go all the way. I want that to be held on because then I'm going to take the knife again at an angle, cut into the flesh of the fish, and follow it right along the scales. And that is going to detach that meat and the rib cage. And if you see that, we got 100% of the meat there. That's what you're going to be left with, okay? We're simply going to flip it over. Once again, I like to grab the gills, flip up the fin, cut at an angle towards the head until I break through. Turn your knife back towards the back of the fish. I'm now going to be cutting through that rib cage following the spine. Once again, flip that over using that part that's still attached to the fish cut in at an angle and just follow along okay we're going to discard this from here you can see i got all the all the meat off of that that i could for that fillet i'm just going to follow along the rib cage here and i'm going to detach the rib cage from the rest of the meat And end up with get end up with a piece like that. Out in the water. Once again, holding the rib cage with your fingers, cut along the edge of it, down and around. That way you're getting a piece of fillet that does not have any bones in it. You always want to just rub your finger along the edge there to double check. If you feel anything sticking out or poking out, you can cut that out. If not, that piece is good to go. That was the first one. Okay, the second way that you can fillet a bluegill is a lot of people like to scale them. So what you're going to do in that case is once again, I follow the same way. I'm going to cut towards the head here, right behind the gill plate, but I'm going to continue to cut all the way through the fish. I'm going to make an incision on this side, flip over, cutting back towards the head, make an incision on that side. And I'm just going to go ahead and remove, remove that part of the fish. Okay. From that part with the head removed, you can either cut from the front to the back or from the back to the front. If you do it that way, you're going to poke the knife in there. Look, I'm going to cut from the front to the back on this one since it's already open. And I'm going to open that up. I'm going to remove everything that's inside there. Okay. And what you'll see is we have a clean... Let me get that part out. And what you will see is we now have a clean cavity inside the fish. So I'm now going to take my knife. I'm going to clamp the tail of the fish. Okay. And then I'm going to start taking the scales off of it. You can do this with the back of the knife. You can do it with the spoon. You want to make sure you get all those scales off because when you cook this fish, you do not want to have that. Okay, flip it over, do this side. Once again, I'm just using the back of that knife to 
take those skills right off. Some people use spoons. Uh, there's other tools that people use to do this. I figure you got the fillet knife already in your hand. Just makes way more sense to do it this way. If you have trouble getting that, you can come down at an angle towards it. All right, we're gonna take that, add that to the water. All right, y'all, so the third way that you can fillet a bluegill is this is a above average size bluegill. This one's obviously been eating well. Unless you have an electric fillet knife or you just have a really sharp fillet knife, it's not gonna be as easy to cut through the rib cage of this fish. So what we're gonna do in this case, I'm gonna turn it towards me and almost like we were filleting the first one, I'm gonna make an incision right here behind the gill plate, okay? But as I turn to, to cut the fish, instead of going through its rib cage, I'm gonna follow along the spine there until I can feel the rib cage below it. Once I get around that rib cage, as I'm going along the spine here, I'm gonna be able to poke all the way through to the other side, which is right there. At that point, I will go ahead and cut all the way down to the tail. And on this time, I'm, I will actually cut through the tail. Because what I'm gonna do, let me turn this around so you can see it. I'm now going to take the tip of my knife and I'm going to start slowly pulling that fillet off of the rib cage of this fish. A lot of people call this staking the fish. And as you can see there, I'm slowly getting the meat off of that rib cage. You guys see how that's open right there? Just pull that back towards you and just take your time. Just slowly start with the tip of the knife, removing it off the rib cage. And it will start to fold its way back. At this point, you're just gonna catch it, hold it in place. I'm just gonna cut through the belly right there. Now, if you look, we have actually filleted that entire piece off of the fish and left the rib cage in place. So once again, you take it, you clamp it in here at an angle, cut into your meat, turn your knife flat, start working your way back to the front. And what you will have is a perfectly filleted piece of bluegill without having to cut the rib cage out from it. Okay, we'll go and do this other side. Okay, once again, we're cutting at an angle back towards the head. Okay, and once I get through there, I simply turn the knife and follow the spine and I can be filling the top of the rib cage of the fish and I'm just following along the spine there. Once I get past his rib cage, I'll be able to poke through to the other side and follow all the way down to the tail and just cut that up. And once again, we're gonna follow the tip of the blade of the knife right down the rib cage there. Put that right off, right through there. Voila. Put that in there like that. Coming at an angle. 
cut back towards the front. And we have a fillet, bluegill fillet, with no rib cage. Okay, y'all, I hope you enjoyed that. Once again, that was three quick and easy ways to fillet a bluegill. Comment below which of those three was your favorite way. And if you have a different way that you fillet bluegill, let me know down below. Also, what I would like to know is what's your favorite way to eat fish? Really want to do a video series on this. I have a ton of different ways and I'm going to start sharing those with you. But I'd like to know what you'd like to see. Once again, y'all, we appreciate y'all. And remember, get outside, go fishing, have fun, and we'll see you on the next cast.